Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to talk about how to use Bitly as a beginner. In this video we will talk about Bitly, what it is used for, how to sign up and we will also do a walkthrough of the interface. Then we will also show you how you can use Bitly to shorten a link. So make sure you're watching this video till the end. Let's begin with a short intro to Bitly. This is Bitly's homepage. As you can see, there are many uses for Bitly. Formerly, it was used only to shorten URLs, but now they've also expanded to generating QR codes and also link in bios. If you scroll down, you can see the three main uses of Bitly, which is link management, QR codes, and link in bio. For this video, we're focusing on link management. And some of the important features in link management that Bitly provides are URL shortening at scale, custom links with your brand, URL redirects, and advanced analytics and tracking. Now let's look at the pricing and plans of Bitly. For that, click on pricing in the top navigation bar. This is the pricing page of Bitly. As you can see, these are all the plans that Bitly provides. The first one is obviously the free plan. In this, you get 50 bit links per month, which means you can create up to 50 links per month using the free plan. And then it also includes these features. Then comes the most popular plan of Bitly, which is a startup plan that comes at $8 per month. And in this, unlike the free plan, you get 200 bit links per month, along with other features mentioned over here. Then comes the basic plan, which is at $29 per month. And in this, you can create 1500 branded links per month. And branded links is different from Bitly links. Along with that, you also get these other features. Lastly is the premium plan, which is at $199 per month. And in this, you can create 3000 branded links per month. And along with that, you get everything that's in the basic plan, plus a couple of other features. We're going ahead with the free plan, so you can either click the Get Started button over here or the Sign Up Free button at the top right side. So let's get started with Bitly. This is the sign up page of Bitly where you can either sign up with Google or use your email address. We're going in with the second option. So type in a username, then put in your email address and enter a password and click the Sign Up with Email button. You will then be taken to this page where you will be asked, how will you use your links? There are three options for work, for personal use and both. You can skip this question, but let's go ahead and answer. We're going ahead with the for personal use option. Over here, you can give in your first name, then enter your last name and answer the question, what are you looking to do? Again, you can skip this step, but let's go ahead. We're looking for social media marketing and you can tick any of these options. We're just going with one option and then go ahead, click the save button. Then you will be taken to your dashboard. Let's do a quick walkthrough of the dashboard itself. On the left side, you can see there are a couple of tabs. The first one is the dashboard, which looks like this. It's currently empty because we have not created links yet. The second one is links, where you can see all the links that you have shortened using Bitly. Then comes QR codes, which is a new feature. Then comes link in bio, which again is a new feature. Then comes campaigns, then custom links, and then settings. For now, let's go to the dashboard. Also verify our email, verify your account by clicking this verify your email button in the link that you receive from Bitly. And once that is done, your account is verified, as you can see over here. Now let's go to the dashboard. On the top right side, you can see there is a search bar in case you have created a lot of links using Bitly, you can search through them using the search bar. Then comes the upgrade option. Then we have the support and help icon. And lastly is your name over here. If you click on it, there's a drop down and you can access all these sections. Now let's go ahead and show you how you can shorten a URL using Bitly. For that, simply click on this create new button on the left side. And then you have two options. One is link and then comes QR code. Let's click on link. 
This is where you need to enter details of the URL you need to shorten. So say I'm writing a blog for crypto and as you can see over here, I have put a link in my article which looks pretty odd. So what I'm going to do is simply shorten it. Either take it from the website itself or if you have it on a blog, you can simply copy it and go to the page and under destination, click on control or command V. And here comes your link. If you want, you can create a title for it, which automatically comes, but this is optional. And then comes ways to share. You can also custom create a back half and then click the create button at the bottom right side. And here you've got your shortened URL, which is right over here and also over here. Now let's hit on copy and let's go to the blog editing page. And instead of the huge link, I'm going to simply place this bit.ly link. Now you can see this is how it looks like with the updated link. You can see this looks much better than this. So that's how you can shorten links using bit.ly. So here I've gone ahead and shortened one more URL. Now let's look at how you can use tags to filter over here to sort out through the links. Let's first edit this link over here. And we're going to add or create a tag. After typing in the tag over here, click on create crypto, which simply means it's going to create the tag called crypto. And then click the save button. After it says link has been edited, then you can go to the filter section and see that crypto has been added over here and close this box and you can see only the ones that have that tag will appear in the search results. Now let's look at how you can hide and unhide. Again, go to edit and on the top you can see hide link, click on it. You'll get this pop-up, you can simply click on confirm and it has been hidden. If you click the cross over here, it will remove all the filters and you can see the ones that are unhidden, which is this one. Now, how do you unhide? Click on hidden links only and the hidden one will appear. Again, click on edit and click on unhide link. Again, click on confirm. Now, to view everything back to normal, you can just untick this and you can see both the links over here. You can also see the total engagements of each uh, link that you have shortened over here. And there's also this small analytics over here. So that's how you can use Bitly to shorten your links and make your blogs and social media posts or even your YouTube descriptions look better. This brings this video to an end. We truly hope it has benefited you. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you have any suggestions for us as to which topics you would like us to create, then let us know about them in the comment section as well. We'll catch you soon in our next video. Till then, stay tuned and stay subscribed.